there comes a time in the life of anyone who's running queries in Google Sheets where you want to combine two data ranges to run a query. Um, so let's talk about how to combine data ranges from within the same spreadsheet um, and also between completely different spreadsheets to then run a query on them. So here in this, in this spreadsheet, we have two sets of Twitter data. So in column A, I have the date, B has the tweet text, C has the handle, and D has the number of retweets. Um, and in a second tab titled tweets two, we have roughly the same data. So let's combine these two and say, just list out the number, the count of tweets by handle, which is column C. So let's write our basic query and all of the magic for this combining of data will happen within the first clause, the data clause. Um, and basically you can combine data from within the same Google sheet using the curly braces, which basically creates uh, like a set here. So we'll take um, tweets, the tab tweets column A through D, which contains the Twitter data there. And we'll use the semicolon here to stack these two ranges on top of each other. If we'd used a comma, they would go next to each other, which isn't what we want. So let's take tweets two in quotes since there's a space. And let's take the second row down since it has headers and we don't, we don't need the headers again. Um, great. And since there, there's a ton of blank spaces, if you notice there's only like seven or eight tweets in each of those. So we don't want all of the blank rows. We could be specific about our, more specific about our range here, but it's more convenient to say, um, select everything where the second column isn't blank. And if you'll notice, um, instead of using just like column A, B, C, D, as we would in a normal query, when you combine ranges together, you lose those, those letter associations for columns. And instead you have to use call one, call two, call three, call four, et cetera, which is a direct translation from A, B, C, D. So let's see what this gives us. Great, so now we have our, let's see about 14 tweets here, all combined in one tab. And similarly, if we, so we have text in column B, we have handle in column C. Say we wanted to group this by handle and get the total count of tweets by handle. We could basically do select call three, which is the, the handle um, and count of call two, where call two is not blank and group by call three. Great, so I just wanted to show you that even though you've combined the ranges and you know, you're using these goofy call, call one, call two, call three tags versus the column letters, it works exactly in the same way. So that's if we wanna combine two ranges from within the same sheet. But what if we wanna combine the, the range from this tweets column, tweets tab rather, with tweets from a completely different sheet? Um, so I have a sheet set up here that called tweets with that same data. And we're gonna use the import range function to, to grab those tweets from the other sheet. So let's, let's leave this co combination here because um, we we'll wanna use the same curly brace technique to combine them. But let's use the import range function and basically what import range does is you drop the spreadsheet key, uh, which is this value in, in the URL of the sheet in between the D and edit. So we'll copy that. We'll drop that into quotes. Um, and then we'll say the range that we want from that sheet, which is just tweets uh, A through D. Great. No column, call three. Looks like our import range is not firing. Oh, so this is, this is an interesting thing. So Google Sheets recently changed to require uh, access credentials when you're running an import range. 
So you need to first allow access um, and run this. So you need, first need to run the import range function outside of your query, and that will make your query run. So if you notice, if you see this erring out before you have approved the sheet, you'll know that you need to run the import range separately to get that to work. Great. So you'll see that this is returning the exact same data as we had when we were just combining these two ranges um, from within the same sheet. So I hope you have a better understanding of how to combine ranges within one sheet, how to use import range to pull data from other sheets, um, and how you can run queries on those. Uh, if you want to grab a cheat sheet that I produced um, that has query tutorials and tutorials on eight or nine other useful functions, uh, you can grab that in the link description here.